Does the gentlewoman from Hawaii rise? Mr. Speaker, I request unanimous consent to address the House for one minute. Without objection. Madam Speaker, my home state of Hawaii just hosted APEC, and I'd like to thank the people of the state for their patience and understanding. There were 21 Asian Pacific countries represented at this event. Our president was there, as was the president of China, Russia, and the prime minister of Japan, to name a few. It's important to note that what was dominating the conversations was the rising dominance of China. The president, our president, asked China to end the policies of keeping the yuan artificially low, and it is artificially low at 28 to 30 percent. Think about what it would mean to us, our economy, if they would just reevaluate. It would support 1.6 billion jobs. It would increase our GDP by 285 billion in just 18 months, and our deficit would be reduced between 670 to 800 billion in just 10 years. Madam Speaker, why haven't we taken up the issue of the reevaluation of the yuan? Our Senate passed it in October the Currency Exchange Rate Oversight Act. It is time for us to act. The United States must maintain its dominance and its position. Please bring that bill up to our floor. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back my time.